Hi everyone, how are you today? I greet you all and I welcome you to the episode of today on dealing with the loss of relationship. Sometimes one may wonder, when I, I get into a broken relationship, what am I supposed to do? And for real, people mourn over broken relationships. Let's even think of a relationship that was so serious to a point of marriage. Probably you even hope to marry this person, but suddenly something happens and the person walks out on you. Probably there's nothing as devastating as a person walking out on you, no word of goodbye, they don't even give you a reason why they are leaving and they don't complain about anything. Everything seemed good and all of a sudden, one morning or one evening or even one day, the person just go quiet. They don't even answer your calls. They don't even call you in the first place. What happens in such an event? But the truth is, in every broken relationship, there is something to learn from it. But even before we go to the lesson, what is the challenge of dealing with a broken relationship? Too many of them along the way. And probably the more important thing is to be able to handle that loss. That is a loss like any other. And the first thing which I suggest a person needs to consider is not necessarily to call that person who has actually betrayed you, because that is even sounds like a betrayal. The most important thing is find someone whom you trust and you can share your loss with. Just tell them what has happened, how the relationship has gone dead. You probably had invested so much. Obviously, people invest in emotional relationships. There's so much emotions that have been invent invented or rather invested, and all that is lost within a short time. So share with someone you trust. Not someone who takes the message of how you are mourning the loss uh, to your ex partner. Talk to them, be very candid, be very frank and open about exactly what you feel. Because when a relationship is broken, the first thing that happens is you feel bruised. You feel like you are bleeding. Feelings are the ones that suffer most. And most of the people act out of feelings, not out of thinking, not out of rational reasoning. They act out of feelings and they say, if that person has left me, I am going to look for them and I'm going to hurt them. A few people have acted out of that kind of anger because they don't think about their action, they actually use feelings. And that is where emotional intelligence is needed more than any other time. And simply emotional intelligence is the ability to balance the head and the heart. Being able to strike that difference, to know that if I take this action, it will actually lead me into trouble. So share your feelings, that's what I've said, if I may emphasize on that one. And be honest about what you feel. The other thing that people should not do is to take action. Don't take action immediately. A person who has a failed relationship, even relationship like separation, like divorce, because these things happen, they are with us. We don't desire that they happen. And the eventualities are the same. The experiences are the same. So do not take action whenever there is loss. Hold on there. Just talk to someone. 
talk as much, change your move. Do not go to the places where you used to go with that person. That way, you flood yourself in a negative way because it will just be a bad reminder. Change direction, go to other places that you'd be priest visiting, visit people who are not associated with the earlier relationship. Rebuild your company, even where possible, the people you are going to spend more time with. That is extremely important. And in the meantime, do things that you like doing. That is also very, very important. Engage in pleasurable activities. But also there is something important about losing a relationship or separation. Try to keep your health up and beating well. Eat healthy. When somebody loses a relationship, it is important to ensure that they feed well. Because when we are kind of mourning lo that loss, our immunity is likely to be compromised. And that's when the person can, we can easily get sick with the other ailments because of that sadness that hit us at once. So it is important that then we eat plenty of vegetables, we take our fruits in plenty, we drink enough water as recommended so that we keep our bodies healthy, not to give room for any kind of illness. So that is considered to be a good way of dealing with the relationships. Whenever you get into a loss of relationship, sit back, ask yourself, what have I learned from that relationship? Could it be that this person was taking me for a ride? Could it be that there is something they were hiding from me? Or could it be that I behaved in a manner or I did something that didn't please them and they didn't know how to tell me about it? And at this point, if you have the courage, you could probably link up, call the person and find out from them uh, what the truth is. What is it that I did? I would kindly want to know what I did. And if you wish, you can even plan to close that book. Let's talk about separation in marriage. Mostly it doesn't happen, but it is necessary that it happens so that that book is closed. And people do not need to part in a bad way. They don't need to engage in negative energy just because the relationship has failed to work. So that can be very, very helpful because we always say the world is so small, you never know whom you need next and where you need them. And even if you didn't need them, it is always good for the sake of peace and for your own satisfaction that you ensure that you do not part ways with anyone in a bad way or in a negative way. And that's it. Look out for the next episode on a little things in life because things happen in life.